Welcome to the Corps Report. I'm Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Corporal Ali Byswinger. Now, before we get started, we want to extend our deepest condolences to the families and friends of Lance Corporal Stephen Hancock, who was killed after falling out of an Osprey during a training flight May 19th. This incident is currently under investigation. Semper Fidelis, Marine. Now, on a lighter note, Corporal Kyle Carpenter will receive the Medal of Honor June 19th, making him the eighth living recipient for the nation's highest military award. On November 21st, 2010, Carpenter went above and beyond the call of duty while deployed to Afghanistan. He and a fellow Marine were holding a rooftop security position when a hand grenade was thrown their way. Now, without hesitating, Carpenter rushed towards the grenade in an attempt to shield his brother-in-arms from the blast. He lost his right eye, sustained countless shattered bones, suffered from a collapsed right lung, and went through surgery to rebuild his jaw. Carpenter overcame the odds and says he has a new outlook on life from the tragedy. This episode's featured Marine is Master Sergeant Dave Jarvis. Back in 2011, he received the silver and bronze stars for his heroic actions in Afghanistan. Jarvis's 15-man platoon was hit by an IED, then came under heavy machine gun and rocket-propelled grenade fire. During the hour-long firefight, Jarvis realized the battle was jeopardizing a helicopter medical evacuation. So he exposed himself and fired an anti-armor rocket. He saved two Marines, one of them being Corporal Todd Love, who lost three limbs that day. Jarvis and a five-man team, including Corporal Love, recently took part in the 2014 Annual Reconnaissance Challenge for Camp Pendleton, California. The challenge is meant to test Marines' mental and physical strength as they navigate obstacles covering up to 30 miles of terrain. And if that wasn't difficult enough, Jarvis and his Marines chose to carry Love. Jarvis had this to say about the experience. Corporal Love has really been, the, uh, been an inspiration beyond his, uh, his Marine Corps career. I just think that his, his ability to inspire and motivate others and continue to, to keep going, and, and I can't, or not in his vocabulary at all. Over the past couple weeks, wildfires have engulfed areas of California, including Cap Pendleton. When the first fire began, Marines were airborne within 75 minutes to help douse the flames. As the fires raged in their own backyards, Marines coordinated with state and local firefighters to assist in air and ground operations. The Marine Corps and the San Diego community came together to extinguish the flames and restore safety to the area. If you're viewing from YouTube and want to see more footage of Marines battling the fires, click on the link below. Now, we're going to take a short break from the show, but we'll be back later this summer. So stay safe and stay motivated. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Those links are in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later this summer. Right here on the Corps Report.